All right, we're continuing along with 12 to 13 now. Uh, just got some incendiary prosthetics for the um, Apocalypse. Ooh, I haven't even done this mission yet. Oh yeah, because you can take care of it. Okay, cool. Thanks, Jess. Thanks for taking care of the initial wave. Even my structures put up I don't think that they can attack while uprooted in this mission. I don't think that... Uh, no, sorry, in this mission. I don't think that the bunkers... The units inside the bunkers can attack while uprooting. I think the bunker attacks while it's uprooting. If, again, I'm correct, which I believe I am on that, at least in that regard. They do attack while it's uprooted? They shoot, okay. Gonna kill it with the SCV. <laughs> Just watch this. The SCV has killed the rocks. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> Doesn't that just make you happy inside? Alright, so I think I'm gonna turn this into a just a massive bunker mission. Yeah. A success 
peaceful Terrazine I think that sounds like a great plan. Yeah, and then the, all the upgrades... Okay, this is perfect. Have returned. Well, looks like I won the bet this time, Bell Shear. Bell Shear says that some more geysers are opening up soon. Don't worry, if you can't hear her, she only talks to me. Yeah. I find your lack of defenses disturbing. Allied forces in combat. Mutation complete. Yeah, and it's cool that medics now can heal anything. soon. You can always count on Belshir to provide what you need. Oh, witness the might of the death. Evolution complete. <laughs> That's so cool. I am 
be strong as I really think he needs investors. I think investors would be like the end all be all of what we can do for this mission. It's pretty sad that they didn't give him investors. Yeah, right? I thought that's pretty annoying that they combined the Overlord and the SCV rally point. Not my bots, you monsters. Oh, damn it. Any more of them, commanders. The bots are returning to me now. I can always count on them to do that, unlike some people. Allied forces in combat. What kind of stats are you looking for? On the way, God, out of my head. Yeah, the troopers are bunker spawns, Marines. is ready for spawning. Hive cluster under direct Relying on me to protect you. I call this the apocalypse. Last forever and being 
destroyed. My bots, of course. <laughs> right before the end. Sequences spun, swarm, music, hive cluster under. Your base is becoming alive. Damn. Bots are heading home. Oh, at least he's got that. That's good. Commanders, there are a lot of wolves on the prowl. Hive cluster under direct assault. Now you die. Infestation can do. Hive cluster under direct assault. Guess I should have made some tanks. Under attack. Hive cluster under Allied direct forces. assault in combat. Hive cluster under direct assault. The bots are back in town! The bots are back in town! So there's not much of a difference, I guess. That's cool. I mean, I don't know if it's cool, cool. But it's acceptable, I guess. So yeah, let's just get a bunch of uh, tanks going, and I'll probably finish up everything I need to have done. Look at all that terrazine, and it's all mine! <laughs> I need just a tiny bit more, commanders. Yeah, sometimes it is a little tough to um, spam as much. I think that might should be a. I think that'd be a really cool. Uh, Mastery point to lower the cost of the um, infested terrans. Also pretty amazing how much um, supply really goes into bunkers. And um, when you fully upgrade the uh, if you fully upgrade your defense for um, your uh, mechanical units, your um, whatever the heck they want to call it, ends up getting ridiculously high. Um. Okay. Thanks for doing that research, um, Moagrin. Yeah, I have so much supply in uh, bunkers. It's pretty crazy. My bots are heading back to base. Be careful, commanders. It's a jungle out there. 
here. Combat. All right, so I think we're pretty much set up. Yeah, no, the bunkers do pretty good damage. Honestly, like, I'm half tempted to, like, just try to make an army of bunkers. The sea stakes just don't quite have the uh, AoE that I was hoping for. Don't be wrong, it's not like it's horrible DPS. I just felt like it, it could be a little bit more. Yeah, I know, I know tanks need ammo, and they've been pulling ammo, because all of the bunkers um, periodically drop an extra um, in infested inventory, so these two synergize really well together. Yeah, I, I honestly feel like the tanks should do way more damage. Like, the volatile burst should be way more damage than just 44. Yeah. Yeah, via the upgrade, exactly. I had all the upgrades for those guys. I'm sorry, Belshir. I didn't mean it like that. Yeah, 44 just doesn't seem like it should it's enough damage. Yeah, he doesn't have very good AoE. All right, the stats reading this shows us nothing. <laughs> I can't believe I sacrificed no life to Alarak, and I didn't do any damage with Alarak. No. All right, let's just keep going. He struggles with Zerg units. He struggles with Protoss units if you're trying to do a tank bunker build. Like, if you go up against Immortals, it's not good at all. Yeah, I really wish they would change the scorecard. It's just not representative of what we actually do with our commanders. Like, I think Borazum is one of the cool commanders that actually has a, a, a decent scorecard based on what they actually do. Uh, Zagaro is another one that has a decent scorecard. But there's a lot of commanders that really need to change their scorecards. Don't get me wrong, it's not like I... It's not like I sit there and like I stress over my scorecard, but I think there's some, there could be some really cool things that they let you know about. The most synergy with Stukov... Alarak has really good synergy with Stukov, because he, um... Uh, yeah, the problem is Zagara is okay, um, but having two armies that are meant to basically lose all of their forces and then come back and lose all their forces, it doesn't work out as well as I'd like it to. Alarak has a great one because when you put like a pylon or whatever out on the field, you can overcharge it and you can use the um, infest structure at the same time. And that actually helps a lot. Yeah, I wasn't impressed very much, user. I kind of felt the same way. I wasn't really impressed by Stukov the first time. 
Uh, but he's he's growing on me. He really is. Like I'm finding useful things for everything that we do, for everything that I'm trying to do. If that is it. Like I'm finding things that work, and I still am kind of partial to the um, to the mass gate, mass barracks build. I'll check that out in a second, user. I mean, if you had to pick a race that Stukov was closer to, what would what do you guys in chat think? What do you think he's closer to? Is he closer to a Terran or is he closer to a Zerg? Enemy forces are moving towards our base. Mutation complete. Objective has been destroyed. Such is the way of the Tal'Darim. No prisoners, no survivors. Sequences spun, swarm mutated. Well, when I... If I'm actually trying to make sure that I'm using up all of my um, gas and everything, I find that uh, kind of building from your gateway, sorry, from your factories, I don't know why I keep saying gateways, uh, but building from your factories first and then getting your other stuff and then massing uh, ter infested Terran whenever you run out of, um, whenever you run out of gas is usually a good way to kind of center your build around. This uh, eleven to twelve. Allied forces in combat. The Alexander lies again. Sequences spawn, swarm. Okay, so I'm thinking that um, I'll get a couple bunkers out. But I want to pretty much build them all here. Well, maybe I make. Ah, I don't know. I'm not sure just yet. Mutation complete. Objective destroyed. Ugh, pathetic. It 
it seems our foes intend to attack us directly. Revolution complete. Allied forces in combat. I have not checked the DPS if that's what I should have been doing this mission. I got it now. I should have been trying to do that. So I'm going to make a couple diamond backs. Mutation complete. Hive cluster under direct ah, assault. Very clever. Deploy on the air. There's a train booking it on the bottom track. You want to catch it, you're going to have to move fast. Sequences spun. Swarm mutated. Allied forces in combat. So I have to get the trail first. Main objective destroyed. It reminds me of duck hunting back on this. Duck hunting. We have an enemy attack inbound. Made a little bit too much over here. Swarm forces under attack. Hive cluster under direct Allied forces. I call this the Apocalypse. See the match. Swarm forces. I find your line of defense is disturbing. Swarm forces under attack. Two departures end now. Time to step up your game. Yeah, the whole, um, the bunkers can work really well for you, it just depends on the units you go up against. It's definitely not as fun going up against... Uh, immortals, though. Allied forces, small forces under attack. Mutation complete. I wonder the best way to find out how much damage you do with the, um... Hive cluster sequences, small forces under attack. Alright, I need a zealot to follow me. Let's see if I can find a zealot. The enemy has taken an interest in our base. Many of my infested control forces under attack. Relying on me to protect me. Of course. Global interest bears you. Global the power, yes? Under attack. Normally, I'd encourage robbing a train. That's cool. For these guys, it's probably safer to light it up. Alright, I need more 
great time mods. I think so. Swarm forces under attack. Sequences spun. Swarm mutated. So I think I'll just keep my forces ahead of my partner here. My forces are a little more destructible than his. Swarm forces under attack. Allied forces in combat. Now I want to figure out the best way to find out how much damage this uh, caustic mucus is. Apocalypse is actually pretty darn powerful, especially when you get the um, attack upgrades or the um, shields up not shields. Uh, or the defense upgrades. Oh, I never made a star part, that's so funny. Where's the gosh darn zealot? I find your too far away. Disturbing. She goes so fast. Swarm forces under attack. Those trains on the third rail are fast as hell. Gotta take them out quick. I don't know if it. I don't know if the uh, a critter will actually do the damage. I don't know if it'll do damage to a critter. Forces under attack. Allied forces in combat. Main objective has been. They picked the wrong fight. He just keeps going so fast. Allied forces in combat. I mean, I don't know. It's an okay amount of damage. Doesn't seem very fast, actually. When there's this much stuff on the screen, my my CPU doesn't let, doesn't do very well. Um, you know, I, I can stream pretty much most everything all right, but there's every once in a while a couple different builds uh, like uh, dark pylons just wreck my CPU. I don't know what it is about them, but I guess the the CPU processing is just really bad. Um, I've had the uh, the same processor for so long. I'm gonna buy a new computer soon. I'm just trying to justify the price of it. Cause really like if I'm gonna buy a new computer I want it to be a really nice computer that can do anything I want. Uh, I have like an i5 from like seven years ago. I'm gonna go away from this for a second. But yeah, I have like an i5 that's like seven years old or something like that. It's it's an i5-760. We're up to like 6800 and 7200 right now. So I'm actually quite proud of the fact that it still works for everything that I do. And I have a really nice um, graphics card and everything. It's just my CPU that needs to be upgraded.
All right, so that... Yes, that should be... That was 12 to 13. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Oh, right. We're going to get some queens now. I'm excited. <laughs> um, so, yeah, now we're going to get some queens out of the next level. Anyways, I'm Hunter Ray Fine. Thanks so much for watching.